still go hard in the paint. Hard in the paint. YouTube, what's happening? It is your guy Hitch. We are almost halfway through the year, and the best sneaker to release thus far is hands down the New Balance collab with Bricks and Wood 9060s. And the reason I bring that up is because they told an amazing story with that shoe. If you've not seen the review, you can go and check that out up there. And they created a colorway telling a story about how Casey Lynch, the owner of Bricks and Wood, grew up in his grandmother's house, which is kind of something I've been wanting to do for a while on Nike Bayou. And anyone that's followed this channel knows that I've created a bunch of designs and they're typically connected to me personally somehow, some way. And I have an entire playlist of most of the designs I've created. You can also check that out. So finally, when I saw that they restocked, the Nike Bayou Dunk Highs gave them decent options. It was time to create this colorway that I'm calling 319A. Growing up in Somerset, New Jersey, my mom raised my sister and I in this apartment complex that we called the Grove or South Grove. Now I've always wanted to create a colorway paying homage to that neighborhood because of the impact it had on my life. So most of the apartment buildings in the complex, mine included, was made out of this dark red brick. So I used the team red canvas option for most of the uppers. And the canvas material in my mind would give me the closest thing to that brick texture compared to any other options that were available on Nike by you, like the leather options. And the apartment buildings also had black accents. So I used the black leather option for the heel collars and the Nike swooshes. Now the leather that's available has a soft tumbled texture to it, which it's not the greatest, but it's also not trash. It's fairly decent. And then lastly, I surprised myself with the last detail on these uppers by using the extended pull tab on the heels because I personally do not like the extended pull tabs. I like the OGs better, but it was the only way to get the text option available. And the reason I wanted that is because with the five characters, I would be able to put the apartment number to the address that I grew up at, which is 319A Franklin Boulevard. First, I surprised myself by using the extended pull tabs on the heels, and I did it once again with my lace choice by going with the brown laces, which they're calling toggle. Going into this project, I had no clue that I was going to swap out the flat laces for the round ones, but they do look good. They also come with a lace lock, which I think is a nice touch, something you don't normally get with your general release dunks also i went with the sail color because the outside of our apartments did have white accents the sail does give it that aged look i went back to the brick concept by using the team red canvas material for the tongue two things to call out whatever color option and material you use for your swooshes that's also what's used at the top of the tongue tag and the same can be said for the inside lining whatever that color is is going to be used for the outside trim of the tongue. The inside of our apartment was painted white, so I went with the sail inside lining. So it all works out being able to have the black accent on the tongue and then the inside lining being sail for the inside of our apartment. Get to it. Get everything we deserve. Thank you. For God's society. Take Molly. I mentioned before that the outside of our apartments did have white accents, but the other thing that the outside of the buildings had was a bunch of dirt and very minimal grass. So I did bring back the sail color option on the midsoles and to represent all the dirt that was on the outside of our apartments, I did use the gum bottoms for that. And the gum bottoms does have that nice little translucent look to it which I'm a big fan of. Nike by you has been a huge hit or miss this year and it all started once they began removing all of the Nike basketball signatures from the platform. The LeBrons have not been on the site for at least five years, if not longer, and the LeBron 20s are fire. They did not add in the PG6s, KD15s, 
or the Ja ones. And all of those sneakers are either good or great. However, they got some hits. Those hits began once they started adding and restocking the Dunk Lows and the Dunk Highs. As I'm recording this video today, the Dunk Lows are gone, but there's a chance you're gonna get exclusive access to it over the next week or two, if not longer. And the Dunk Highs are on the website ready for you to create. And the good news is the options are fairly decent. I'm happy I was able to create this colorway. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a while and I'm happy with the way they came out. Now, just so you all know, the options that are available for your uppers, it's gonna include this canvas material, leather, and long hairy suede. It is gonna run your retail of $165, and also the sizing on dunks have not changed. They're true to size. I will say the canvas material, it's a little bit stiff, so they're a little bit snug, but they should still give you that comfortable true to size fit. As always, I would love to know what you guys think about these, so please hit the comments and rate them on a scale of one to five. One being trash, five being you would actually cop a pair also i have one more pair of nike by you highs that i'm going to share with you guys if you don't want to miss that video please hit the bell notification so you know when i'm dropping it and if you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to the channel i'm out